Hey everyone, welcome to The Word on Wednesday. Praise God, I don't know if you remember back in the day, but there used to be this old invention called letter writing. And a lot of times when you'd be finishing off a sincere message and putting your heart out on paper, you would write the words, yours truly, yours truly, Sean, uh, to finish off your letter and your message. And I was thinking about the word of God being God's love letter to us. Uh, and we're so grateful that he has expressed love in so many ways, most meaningfully and most powerfully on the cross and with his death and resurrection, but also in the Bible through the words of God and Jesus being the very word of God as well. And throughout Psalm 62, which is where we're going today, you're going to see that David, King David, gets so much confidence and so much solace and so much joy from this letter, from realising that God is his truly. And we see in Psalm 62 that David writes the word truly three times uh, throughout this psalm. The first time we see it is in verse 1 where David says, Truly my soul finds rest in God, my salvation comes from him. And so, praise God, the Lord wants us to know that he is ours truly because he wants to remind us that he is the place where our soul finds rest and he is the source of our salvation. Praise God. What's not to like in those two points? And then we see truly being expressed again in verse 2 and again in verse 6. And verse 2 and verse 6 are identical. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Now it's interesting here that he doesn't repeat verse 1 but he does repeat verse 2 in verse 6 and so it gets a double whammy, a double portion. Truly he is my rock, truly he is my salvation, truly he is my fortress, I will never be shaken. And to understand why he's written it twice and why he needs to understand that God is his truly twice in verse 2 and in verse 6 is because there's people having a go, there's people saying, oh, you're just a leaning wall, you're just a tottering fence, you're about to fall, you're no good, you're going to fall from your lofty place. Uh, and this reminds us of the enemy of our souls, but maybe this might remind you of some circumstances that you're going through at the moment. Uh, and I just want to remind you about God's love letter. It's the Bible. He has written it for you and to you. Uh, and if you could see it at the end of every page, are the words, yours truly, Jesus, yours truly, the Lord. And we see this totally solidified in Psalm 62. And I would point you to verse 1, but I would point you mostly to verse 2 and verse 6, because here we see this king, who might even feel like a leaning wall or a tottering fence. He might be kind of going, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm about to just collapse. Maybe this is just complete weakness that I have. I have nothing else but weakness. But the Lord, he's reminded of the Lord. And he, he cries out to God. And he said, truly, he is my rock. He is my salvation. Truly, he is my fortress. Therefore, I will not be shaken. Do you know that when you totally get it that God is yours truly, you will not be shaken? If you've sent a love letter to somebody and signed it off yours truly, the person who receives the letter knows that that love will not be shaken, that, that you're a friend for life, that you're a love for life, whatever it is in the message. And we know from this letter that God has sent us that he is all the time trying to express to his children, to his, to his loves, that he is ours truly yours truly truly my soul finds rest in god my salvation comes from him verse 2 and verse 6 truly he is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress i will not be shaken and so bless the lord that's what i've got for you today and i pray in jesus name that you would just marvel at the love that god has for you how committed he is to you and that daily god wants us to awake and to understand that throughout the day Come what may, whether we feel strong or weak, we're like a leaning wall or a tottering fence. He is going to be yours truly. God bless you. Have an amazing day in Jesus name. Mm -hmm.